Hey there, what's going on? I hope you're having a great day. And I imagine that you landed on this video because you've got a God sized dream, which is so exciting because God sized dreams are what the world is made of. And the cool thing about God sized dreams are they're so big that we need God to do them with us in order for them to come to fruition. With that being said, as a coach, a success coach for God-sized dreamers, I run across a lot of women who are very hesitant and cautious around, is this really a God thing or is this a me thing? And I have some questions that I always share with my clients that I want to share with you today to really help you ask yourself, is this a God thing? And I call them God breathed, God sized dreams, or is this just a dream? And truth be told, I've had big dreams that were bigger than me that I called them God sized dreams. But in all reality, uh, once I achieved them, I realized that those weren't, they didn't really satisfy me. And the reason they didn't satisfy me because they weren't necessarily God's dreams for me. So in order to help you prevent yourself from going down that path and spinning your wheels and doing all the things and climbing up the hill just to get to this dream, I have some questions that I want to ask you today before you take any further steps toward your God's ice dreams to ask yourself, is this really a God thing or is this a me thing? So let's start with question number one. Question number one is... Who is the main person or main people who benefit from this thing? Is it you? Is it your closest family? Perhaps maybe, you know, your closest friend? Now, I'm not saying that a God-sized dream doesn't benefit you, right? Because obviously there are, there are blessings when we are obedient to do what God has called us to do. But is, the, is it the main thing? And so another question, another way to kind of wrap your head around it is, what's the ripple effect? Who does this impact? Is, am I creating a legacy with this thing or is it really to make me rich and make me a lot of money? Uh, so I want you to ask yourself, what is the ripple effect? And so a coach of mine worded it one way is, what is the outcome of the outcome of the outcome? So it impacts you fantastic, but then well, who else does it impact? And who else does it impact? And what is the ripple effect that you continue to see as you're chasing this thing? And so that's question number one. Who really does this benefit and is there a ripple effect in this? Are you leaving a legacy or does it stop with yourself? All right, that's number one. Number two is, does this thing actually distract you from God? And what I mean by that is by saying yes to this thing, do you become so busy and so burdened and so like, ah, that you're saying yes to this thing, but it's also causing you to say no to God. Now, here's the deal. Anything can become an idol, right? That's what the devil wants. Anything that can keep us away from knowing and experiencing and living life to the fullness that God has created us to do. Yes. So your dream can actually become an idol. And so I want you to ask yourself by saying yes to this thing, am I saying no to God? Have I put this thing before him? Because the Bible says to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then all the other things will be added unto you. So are you seeking him first as you're going after this thing? Or has this thing so consumed you and made you so busy and literally it's consuming all your thoughts and your time and your emotions that you are not seeking him first and his kingdom first, but you're seeking this thing first. All right, so I've got one more question for you to really sit with and process. And some of these are heavy questions. Some of these you're going to ask yourself and you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to answer because the truth is, but in all reality, what's the point of working towards something if it's really not a God breathed thing? Because I promise you when you get there and when you have experienced and you tasted success, you're going to be like, I'm really not all that satisfied. God, why? I spent all this time and emotions and money and energy toward this thing, and I'm, it's not even what I want. All right, so question number three is, is this dream of yours constantly stressing you out? Is it constantly making you frantic and losing sleep and financially burdened and all the things? Because we know that where the spirit of the Lord is, 
there is freedom. We also know that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And if we're doing something that is constantly stressing us out, there's a really good chance that it's not a God breathed thing and that we are forcing something, or maybe we're forcing it too quickly or we aren't seeking him and exactly what he has for us. So I believe that we are all made for so much more than what we typically recognize, right? God wants to do exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine. And so I believe we are all made for God's size dreams. We're all made for things that are so much bigger than us that it should scare us, right? Because if it doesn't scare you or it doesn't, it's certainly not going to scare the devil. And so I want to encourage you to sit with the Lord and ask those three questions. God, this thing that I have, this thing that I'm working toward, this God-sized dream that I have wanted so much, is this actually what you want for me too? Or have I kind of twisted it in a way and made it not so perfect the way that you actually have designed it and designed me and created me for this thing? And if that's the case, just ask for forgiveness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for playing your role and trying to do this thing the way I wanted to do it. God, what do you have for me? What is it? Because I know that if you have it for me, then it's even better. I hope those three questions are good things for you to ask yourself today. And it's a great thing to continue to come back to because as you continue to grow and as you continue to achieve certain things, you're going to get bigger dreams and bigger goals. And so coming back to these questions, really asking yourself these three things is a really great place to start and making sure before you take another step forward that you are in the right place at the right time, your heart is postured in the right place, and that you're actually working towards something that God really wants to see you achieve and that he is going to give you joy in it and fulfillment in it. So if you like this video, I'd love for you to comment below, like the video, comment below, share it with anyone that you feel would benefit from it, as well as connect with me on Facebook. Uh, I have a community there for it's called soul sisters with god size dreams look for me there and connect with a whole group of other women who are chasing after god while they're chasing after their god size dreams always keeping him first seeking him first and then experiencing all the other goodness that god has for them have a great day i'll talk to y'all later